Hello everyone, my name is Yogesh and today I am giving lecture on Pivot. In today's lecture I will be covering Pivot. Pivot is a simple operator which will uh, which converts value into the columns. So describing Pivot as a single definition, Pivot convert your output from values which are in horizontal order to the now like vertical order to the horizontal output which makes them column so right now the definition will not make a good sense to you uh, but at the end of lecture you will know that how pivot is used and for what pivot is used pivot is very important operator right now the reason behind recording this lecture is my, one of my friend has been asked a similar question from two interviewers uh, regarding the pivot uh, and pivot is very much used in reporting uh, you can generate similar output using subquery and other thing, but they, those are totally not opti optimized. They generate a huge read and write request on the SQL, so you can just replace them with the pivot doing aggregation. Uh, however you uh, like in the way you want so in the today lecture the topic I will be covering is first the pivot example which uh, which was asked by to my friend from into an interview then I will covering the pivot syntax uh, when I will be explaining the pivot syntax just be very specific and be conscious about it because once you are clear with the syntax you can understand any query on the internet which is using the pivot without reading about the query like what it is doing you can just see the query and you can tell what output it will be giving after then I will be uh, like example which I will be covering is an interview question so it is very important uh, now coming to uh, the pivot uh, so in today's lecture I will be covering some of the pivot example on Northwind database uh, uh, as my uh, most of the lecture are from the Northwind database you can download the database from the CodePlex website this is free database by the Microsoft after then I will be generating a pivot query like in the pivot query you need a fixed uh, set of columns you want to you have to give uh, to the query that these are the columns which I want but uh, what if you don't have a list of columns which you want so you can generate this dynamically also I've used a dynamic SQL here uh, after this lecture I will be recording lecture on unpivot one uh, it will be in my next lecture and not now uh, I will get uh, it recorded as soon as possible uh, if you will be having any question within the lecture or outside the lecture regarding the SQL you can contact me on Skype my Gmail my phone number and my website and uh, I will be available like on weekends so even if you want private lectures also then I can also uh, arrange those so now coming to the uh, practical side let's start now suppose here we have uh, basically uh, this is the question which was asked to my friend basically uh, let me clear all of this marking let me clear the markings okay now basically there was a table which is having gadgets uh, the uh, like result uh, like the interviewer want an output where he want colors which are values as in column and the values total number of gadget under it then the blue as in column then total number of value as in uh, like total number of available gadgets under it and the total of both now let me show you uh, what this table is now here I have this table let me make it okay it is already in the database let me clear it. okay now let me generate this table here we have got table. If I will create this table, it has three records. It has two colors, white and blue. What they want? White as in column, summing the number of values. Then blue as a column and summing this value. So uh, this is the output of the query. If I summarize, they want blue as in column, white as in column, and five under blue and four under white, and then the total of both nine as an un one uh, another column. Now for this, my friend has generated an output using SQL select case basically case operator now state clause uh, case clause now here's the output now white have four blue has five and this is the total so if you will see here you have blue white has four and blue has five and total is nine so here's the output so but this is not the optimized way you can get it using the pivot also let me show you the pivot output it will be the uh, it is a similar just the column name changes now coming to uh, the pivot example now in pivot you must be having a source table which is selecting only two columns first of all the one column will represent the source of values which you want to convert as an column now if I will run this query this will give me the output uh, now I have white as in source like this is the value which I want to convert in a column this is the value uh, blue which I want to convert in the column so color is the source of those column which I want to convert into the 
uh, the so source for those values which I want to convert into the columns. So what I am selecting first, I am selecting the source, then the values which I want to summarize. Then I am using the pivot operator. It is summarizing the column which I want to summarize. Then selecting value as a column which are coming from this source. These both are same. Now after then white has been converted to the column and I am selecting white and selecting summary of the value as in its value and then I am just selecting blue as in column and summarizing the number of available under it then summarizing both of these let me run the query let me show you the output again now it is very simple now before going forward let me explain you the powered syntax okay now first I told you that the query will be selecting two columns one is the source of values which you want to convert as a column uh, like uh, this is the source of column like it is like the color column which is selecting white and blue which I want to convert into the columns so this will be like and color this is same here for close will be in front of it and then I'm selecting the values as a column which are coming from this source so I'm specified in operator then I'm summarizing the value which I want to aggregate then I'm selecting these as an column so syntax is very simple if you will see we'll see the syntax is very simple so it is doing my output so let me show you output again yep now here we have now let me drop this table now I will be covering some of the example on the north wind now suppose I have this query what it is doing is it is selecting product name and for each product it is selecting one and then the category now why what this one is doing if I summarize the one like this unit for each category then it will give me the number of product into it so if I, it will give me this output Okay, if I will summarize this unit and let me do it for you. And if I will do sum for this one, even then this the output will be the same because I'm counting down the one or summarizing it, so it is the same. So what I want is I want to convert beverages as a column, condiment as a column, confection as a column, uh, produce as a column, grain and cereals as a column, and the values in front of those as their column values rather than having a, a record values. So what this is the output let me show you the first let me show you the output now here we have converted this beverages as a column condiment as a column confection and other as a column and the values which are been like the count of product under those as an value to these columns if you will compare these values to the above query the values does match beverages as 12 condiment has 12 confection is 13 let me show we have these values now the caravel, uh, grains and caravels at 7 and produce as 5 so these are the values so here the output is similar to the above one now for doing this we have a source query the source table which is having two columns one is a value which I want to aggregate and the second is source now I'm summarizing this so, uh, the value or the value or the field which is having value I want to summarize then I'm selecting the columns which are coming from the source column here and I'm selecting those here I can also replace it by star also and after this uh, you can create a view of this query and then you can join it with anything so this is very easy to use the pivot is completely awesome so this is the one now what you have is two columns one which you want to aggregate one is the source of values and then values are converted to columns and then I'm selecting those as a column so this is very simple now coming toward next example now suppose I have I have what I here I am doing is I'm joining order details with product and summarizing the quantity so the chai has been sold 828 times into the order details then Chang has been this if I will just remove this group by and select this as a draw output so it will be having already split. So these are the output. Basically, this order is having this tofu has nine quantity and so on. Like Chang is having twenty in this order, then Chang is having fifteen the next order and fall uh, like, like it is falling. So I don't need this order ID to uh, show on the 
like my output uh, in the pivot so I just I want his call product name as in column and the sum of quantity into them so I want to summarize this so what I'm doing is I have source of column which I want to con uh, source of values which I want to convert into the columns like these are my products which I want to convert and the source of quantity which I want to summarize very simple now I'm just selecting the list of columns which I have created here into the select statement here you have now if you will compare this one let me group it by product name product name and sum it and if I will select this like suppose chang for you have 1057 here you have 1057 like for the other one you have mm, this 1125 here you have 1125 and for the other one like it is hmm, where did it go? Revel here you have 4344. Four, four. So the output is same. You have converted the records into the columns, and as that what do you want? So now the problem is you have a list of uh, product here, and product uh, list can change every time. Like you can add new product to the store, so you cannot change again and again the query. So getting the output dynamically is one is one of the common thing which you will uh, like face in reporting so here uh, how you can do it uh, I have declared two variables one will be the dynamic query and one will be the list of columns with having comma separated to them like this one this is the list comma separated and there is a method name code name this will add square bracket in front of each column Name. Well, select. So this is the value. So this is the simple. Then I'm just uh, adding comma for each of these product name, having a square bracket around it. If I will select this query, let me show you the output. This will be having the uh, like the product name having square bracket around it, then comma, then second product name, having square bracket around it, and so on. And now I have a complete list of the columns. Now, I want to have to replace this list here in the select statement because I want to select these columns. And also, I want to create these values, uh, like, uh, like these columns from the values, which are coming from the product name source. So, as if you will look at the above query, here we have so the name of the product and here we have the name of product a list of name of product so i am adding list name of the product here with the values of name of the product here and then name of the product above also and then if you will look into the dynamic sql it will generate this query and if i will run this query it will give me the dynamic output so now as this query has been gen dynamically generated i want to execute it so for executing it you can use this uh, method sp underscore execute sql this will execute a dynamic sql here if i will run this query i got the output that is the dynamic one and if you will see the chang is having 1057 which was the aggregation uh, the correct the correct aggregation so you can do the operation like this using the pivot so i think uh, today you are clear with the pivot uh, let me explain you the syntax again so that it will be more clear to you now if I will explain this you need two columns one is the source of column which you want to convert like source of values which you want to convert into the columns then you have value a source of values which you want to summarize and then selecting the columns which you have converted into the columns the values which you have converted into as a column and you can analyze it and do anything with it so I think today's lecture will be helpful to you if you have any question you can call me uh, you can text me on like send a mail to me you can add it to uh, me to the, uh, skype and you can ask any question anytime and you can also ask for a private lecture have a good time enjoy keep learning 